a woman, a white woman in Kentucky, went on a tirade, a derogatory, hateful, mean-spirited tirade, berating two shoppers at a J.C. Penney. Let's go back to wherever the f you come from, lady. Y'all think you? Hey, tell them to go back where they belong. Just because you come from another country, it don't make you nobody. You're nobody. As far as I'm concerned, probably on welfare, we probably the taxpayers probably paid for all that stuff. They speak English. Reaction to this video has been swift both online and off. Mall officials say they're trying to identify this lady, uh, this woman, and she will be banned from the mall where it happened. Joining me by phone is Jefferson County Attorney Mike O'Connell. He is not uh, prosecuting this, but he certainly knows uh, the law very well in that area. Mike, thank you so much for joining me. So, um, first of all, the mall is working to identify her, and they're going to ban her. Is the law on their side to do that? Well, I think as far as the mall is concerned, certainly uh, she has no legal right to be uh, in a mall uh, for any particular reason. So the owners of that can certainly do that if they can identify her and uh, give her notice. This hits any reasonable person with even an inkling of a heart in all the worst ways. Uh, does her terrible behavior rise to the level of criminal harassment? Well, in Kentucky, it, uh, I believe it certainly uh, crosses that line. Uh, I mean, this, uh, being a citizen of Louisville and uh, Metro here, too, this is a despicable, sad uh, event that occurred here. But, uh, yes, uh, and it does rise to the level, I think, of harassment under Kentucky law, which in part specifies that in a public place that a person that can be charged with this if they make offensively coarse utterances, gestures, or displays, they address abusive language to any person, they engage in a course of conduct or repeatedly commit acts which alarm or annoy such other person. So a lot of people believe that, and which I cherish very much too in my position as the Jefferson County Attorney, the First Amendment and the right to free speech, but mm -hmm. um, this is not, this, speech, this type of speech is not constant. Constitutionally protected. Uh, 